Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the AUVSI show in New Orleans. That's uh, the Association of Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, otherwise known as drones. And you know, if you don't have a sensor package on your drone, well, what's the point? You've just got an annoyingly noisy RC. So I took a look at some of the packages that these drones can carry, and I found laser and LiDAR and all sorts of cameras. Let's take a look. We're here at the uh, AUVSI 2016 showing a product called the Geo MMS. It stands for Geo Mobile Mapping System, where we've taken a LiDAR sensor, which is a, a laser-based system which sends out laser beams and measures the distance to the uh, objects that it hit, hits by the reflectance time. We've taken that uh, sensor and we've combined it with an inertial navigation system and put it on a drone. And when we fly the drone, we're getting voluminous amounts of laser data that we then geo-reference or apply coordinates from the navigation system and get very useful information for a variety of different types of applications um, using this types of sensor data. This is the AR3 net ray from Tekeva. We've got a system here that has a three meter wingspan uh, that we've fitted up with a mi uh, maritime radar for use within the maritime environment. The maritime radar is mounted on the, the belly of the aircraft. And we also have fitted with it a camera system so we're able to detect vessels over a wide uh, footprint and then we're able to then zoom in with the camera and look at the, the vessels and to be able to identify them and make sure they're in areas that, um, that they're supposed to be. So the sort of applications for this sort of sensor include over the horizon operations for maritime boats. So the radar allows us to look over a much wider uh, area than we would be able to do just using a camera alone. And we're able to stay in the air for around 10 hours and we're able to make sure that we can uh, have a good operations from on board the vessel using the, the, the launch rail that we have here the, and we're able to then recover using a net system onto the boat. What we have here is the S200 laser sensor from Laser Technology. It's used for height measurements and distance measurements as well as collision avoidance for UAVs and drones and UASs. Um, it's the latest and greatest, or greatest in sensing technology out there today. Um, it's got about a 10,000 foot uh, range with a, a 15 centimeter accuracy all the way down to a 4 centimeter accuracy. Um, and it's uh, being deployed in multiple different drones for um, a good uh, distance measurement and it's able to allow them to land the drone safely so they're not crashing and you have to replace it. And that's about it for the S200. With UAV Annex here and we're showcasing some ADSB in and out solutions. And we have our smallest device here. This is called the Ping RX. Uh, the board itself weighs about a gram and a half and it provides dual link input on ADSB, uh, both 978 and 1090. And this, this is designed to output to a, a PixHawk or a similar flight controller for drones. These products are traditionally oriented in the drone space, uh, but there's a lot of crossover between the GA and uh, drone markets. As we class up, we have a, a 20 watt output UAT transceiver. So this is input on both 978 and 1090 and output at 20 watts. Uh, it also has a paired navigation source, a high, high precision navigation source with a barometer. And this is 20 grams, so very lightweight, very small, uh, based on the same technology the entire product line is. And then as we move up to uh, the larger standpoint, this is a output on both 1090 and 978. This is a 200 watt output, full mode S trigger. Uh, so this is a you know, traditional transponder that you might see in full-scale aviation. And we're targeting all of these right now in the drone market, but we're also very actively investigating the general aviation space and how we can innovate, really make a lightweight, unique product uh, that we don't th think the market's seen yet. This is a Steady-Eye Airborne Stabilized Payload. As you can see, uh, it's an ultra-small electronic payload. Uh, it has an uncooled uh, uh, infrared thermal imaging camera and a CMOS color camera. So you're seeing really two separate cameras here. Um, it's uh, mounted on a three gimbal gyro stabilization system. Uh, so it ensures superior observation capability. And it's uh, again, very small. Uh, it weighs about 300 grams. 
Now generally what you'll find in the industry uh, for payloads this size are generally two axis. Uh, this particular device has a three axis stabilization. So whether you're on a quadcopter or whether you happen to be on a UAV, a uh, fixed wing payload, uh, sorry, fixed wing platform, um, you're gonna find that the um, uh, nested beneath uh, this device is the uh, roll stabilization. So uh, it's really gonna perform very well whether the uh, quadcopter is down towards the ground and pitching out to the left or the right. And the same case is true for the UAV platform. Hi, I'm John Becker with Airborne Innovations and we're a uh, payload provider for unmanned aircraft. We have a number of different payloads including this is our, which is our new uh, 4K wireless system. So we have a uh, true 4K, uh, uh, <clears throat> currently a, a short range system. We're upgrading that to a five mile capable, very low latency system. So, uh, but uh, yeah, at the moment, uh, this is uh, one, of the, one of the few available 4K systems out there. So we're the, we're the first to provide this kind of technology. We also do uh, long range HD, as well as uh, some very small payloads, including for very small vehicles, including uh, micro radios and a uh, number of other payload components, including mapping technology and so on. So, but uh, the 4K system allows you to uh, get it data down HD video, uh, ultra high definition video from a camera like this, which is a Sony HD block camera. Uh, this camera has a 12x zoom lens on it as well. So for, uh, we're finding a lot of customers in the broadcast world initially uh, doing uh, live uh, for ultra high definition wireless. And so uh, our next generation system will be a, a very suitable for integration in gimbals and uh, long range uh, surveillance applications. This is the ICI 9640 and sensor control module. Um, we offer multi-spectral packages uh, All right, thanks for much. drones for inspection purposes. Uh, it's a long wave infrared camera. It's fully radiometric. We'll give you temperature data from every single pixel. It pairs with our sensor control module um, using the trigger, the CAN bus, S bus. All our cameras are USB based cameras. So you can use them uh, to do inspections and get all the temperature data that you need. Uh, you can see on screen here we have uh, we have some single point radiometry and then you also have the options to scroll through our menu and you can change level and span. Everything that you would want to control with a handheld infrared camera you can now do aerially.